I love that we are already talking. We've done some talk. And did you guys know Randy and George, this girl's actually an HR director. <laughs> Did you know that? Yeah. Uh oh, and she's an HR director. <laughs> and she makes magical Christmas Eve boxes that the entire family is going to love. This is Abby Robertson. She is with the Kringle Crate. And already I've just been oh I've been so excited about this because <laughs> my kids would love this, but it's not just kids. No. Apparently dogs too. Yes. This so, is so cool. Yes. Yeah, so we started with a Christmas Eve box, um, which is a really neat tradition that families kind of have been doing on Christmas Eve for yes. several years. Um, and I just kind of put my own fun twist on it. I but love then that. I thought, well, why leave the puppies out? Why well, leave the dogs out? Um, so we also have a box for dogs that has some fun personalized items like a dog bandana, um, a personalized ornament, some dog nog, you know, to get them in on the festivities. And okay, so we have to show this. Yeah, so here's the bandana, some dog nog. Dog what's, nog. That, what's actually in there? I, I, I don't know. She doesn't know. <laughs> she doesn't know. But it's, it's, good. Safe, it's safe for the pups. It's manufactured for your dog. Um, look at this. Like coconut cookie mix. Yes. So some baking a little mix. ornament. Yep. An ornament. And this is also fun for like teenagers who kind of aged out of like Christmas Eve box and Santa. Yes. If they still want to do something on Christmas Eve, then baking the cookies for the dog is also <laughs> just a lot of fun. This is so, so adorable. Okay. So we got the dogs taken care of on our dogs. list. How about the kiddos? Okay. So this is our Christmas Eve box. Um, we sell hundreds of these this every year, hoping to do the same thing this year. Um, and really what I wanted to do is make it just extremely kid friendly yeah. so that way like when they get it in the mail they recognize it's something from Santa Aww. like the excitement's already building um, they have a cookie baking apron that they can personalize with the fabric markers That's so cute. Um, they have hot cocoa mix they have reindeer 3d glasses they have a Rudolph bath bomb a Santa key oh, a Santa key um, Look at that. but the best part is that they actually get this letter from Santa and it talks about how he's given them this box to help them prepare for his arrival. And Aww. he's got like a scavenger hunt. And so they have to go through all the steps of the scavenger hunt in order to prepare for him. And of course, being a mom, yeah. you're a mom as well. Yes. We've included pick up your toys, go to bed early. That, uh, Abby, I love what you're <laughs> doing there. So that way we can kind of help families like kind of just walk through the evening, right. get everything done, help the parents or the grandparents or the aunt and uncles, right. whoever's, whoever's taking there, care of the sure. kids. Um, just kind of help walk them through their evening and make it a little bit easier. And let's be honest, this is just all about memories, right? And those it moments is. with your kids. And this is something yes. so special that you could have as a tradition every single year, but we're not done yet. What else is over here? Okay, so I've got, I've actually got two more things to talk about. So okay. our our newest product this year, which is just kind of flying off the shelves, is these reindeer yes. food confetti poppers. Don't worry, they're not spring loaded, like they're not dangerous. <laughs> um, but they are magic reindeer food that kids can kind of go in, go out in their yard in the yeah. night um, before Christmas and launch into the oh, yard. Everything's so very sweet. like animal friendly in case your dog or you know another animal gets into it. Yeah. But yeah, so you sprinkle the reindeer food so that Santa's reindeer know where to land. Mm -hmm. um, and you mentioned kind of earlier making memories. We also have a mommy and me kit this year where you oh, get an nice. adult apron and you get a kid apron and we think that's a really fun way to like or a fun gift to send to grandparents as well if yeah. the kid were to personalize it and then send it if they're not going to be going home oh that's so. a great one too okay you know we got a couple more things right yeah, over here we've got some, some personalized ornaments. ornaments that you can add into your box um, i find that a lot of aunts and uncles actually purchase the box and send it to nieces and nephews it's a great gift idea yes or grandparents who aren't going to make so it home wonderful. Um, so we can include a personalized ornament we've got like a dog bath bomb that you can throw in your dog <laughs> box because if your dog isn't bougie enough now they need a bath bomb um, and one of the best parts about That's owning great. Kringle Crate and creating it is I get to work with so many small businesses yeah. to create all of this because not every product I manufacture and okay. so Vito Fizzies is another small business that we partner with um, this right here these uh, this cookie baking mix for the dogs. Um, they were actually on Shark Tank. And so that's oh, another fantastic. small business that Supporting those utilize. local businesses yeah. all at the same time. Absolutely. Okay, so the big question, Abby, where can we find these? Yes, so we sell primarily online. We do um, a couple of events throughout the year, but those are over for the year, unfortunately. Okay, so that's we okay. um, are the KringleCrate.com. Okay. So everything's online. Um, hopefully very easy to navigate website. Yes. We also have double and triple boxes. So if you have two kids at home, if you have three kids at home, oh, okay. you don't have to buy three boxes. We actually oh, make nice. a kit all for in three one. kids. Okay, well yes. we'll put all the details on IndieStyle.tv. George and Randy, you know, I love about this is because I feel like every year kids sort of forget maybe as they grow what you got them, what their present was, but they'll never forget the memories, right? The family interaction, what you guys did together. I feel like that's what it's all about. Yeah, I love it.